Hey there guys, my name is Marcus and in this video I'm going to show you how we can use error hour. The first thing I will show you is how we can uh, use the main features and then I'm going to show you how we can use the extension. So let's start. First I'm going to write a work email, my mail. Then I need to confirm my mail, so I'll just do it in a one second. And yes, it's me. So voila. I'll just add here the name. I'll go CEO. I can add the phone number here. And I can add the password. Yes, I have read. And I'll just add my phone number here. And I will add continue. And voila, I'll just add here my con my company, which is Sunway, and size self-employed, and continue. Now integrate with add time tracking inside your project management tool. You can do it with like I don't know Trello. And I'm logged in in Trello, so I will just click allow. Integration with Trello and it's in progress. And now uh, you can install the browse extension and it will automatically connect to you. If you have a Firefox, you will be Firefox, add to Chrome, add extension. And now when you got it, every time tracking expenses. So I will just enable it. And now your activity will appear here. So we got it. So we need to set up uh, first our tool clock in and clock out okay record employee vacations we can do that timesheet approval let employees submit their timesheet for approval we can do that over times scheduling expenses you can have it and you can also create invoices let's finish so now we see it here team active and availability last week timesheet then we got team vocation time off projects with the most spent time and members with the most spent time and team expenses this is, this is the dashboard now what you can do let's just add projects clients and then we will schedule things so first let's click on a project and i have my projects from trello or i can simply click create a project project name can be like youtube and now client there is no client yet but let's manage this and let's create a client first. So client name can be Jessica. And we don't have yet any projects. Business details can be YouTube channel, right? And we can have tags, we can have discounts here and due terms, create a client. Right here, you can go to projects now, create a project, project name, YouTube channel. And now I can click client and click Jessica members and if you're gonna have like multiple members you can add them who can manage tasks everyone only admins let's create a project so voila here we got it so we got a youtube channel project and now we can add simple sections section name can be mm, let's see mm, youtube video and add a section and now in section you can simply add a card And voila, here we got it, right? So I can simply add a time, add an estimate, set due date, close, copy, move, or delete it. So we got a project here and let's see. Okay, we got a project on every hour. Then we can click time and I can start timer. Or I can schedule things here. So I can come here and click I don't know, 28 and I'm going to have a project YouTube channel task will be description of the video assignee will be everyone and period will be one day and hours a day will be five like five not 45 and now you can add a comment and you can click save now it's you can also add client and time off like what do you want to actually do i'm going to add a task but it really depends what do you actually want so save and right now, as we can see, so we got five hours of work 
on the 29th of January. So this is like the scheduling. Then on a time, I can click start, start timer, but I'm going to select project here, YouTube channel, right? You can do it also in extension, we download it. So this week, this week, okay. Time without task. And YouTube channel, start timer and task, this one. So project is going to be YouTube channel, task is going to be YouTube description of the video we created and explain my progress. I can go with, I am writing the description and time period can be like how long and start timer. And voila, here we got it. And it's starting to, I'm writing description. I have time sheet here and I have time card. Clock in and clock out. Then on the top right, I can simply stop timer. See? Running timer. And I can stop it. Then, as I mentioned, we got a project here. And I can click on a project and I can add a card. But right now I'm working on a YouTube description of the video. And you can add multiple sections. So let's say that I'm managing the YouTube channel for Jessica. I can simply add a section of a YouTube video or YouTube video 2, YouTube video 3. And then I add a card here of doing that, right? Then I have clients here, as I mentioned. Team that you can add members. And again, you see timesheets here time cards, time off and members reports that you can like project budget, project costing, team hours. And then you get expenses here. So in expense, you can add expense. So date category, you can create one, let's say YouTube, create category, save. Amount can be 50. What was the expense? You just added text and in what project it's going to be. I'm going to choose the YouTube channel and I can change member, just member and reflect expense in billable amount or cost and create expense. And voila, here we got expenses. Really simple, really easy, but it really depends like what you got. And then you can also add the billing here, the apps, the request demo in my profile. You see the subscription here that you can like monthly. If integrations, you can change the personal preference of time format and everything with the reports date format. Really play around with everything and team settings like changing logo, currency, rate, costs, capacity. So we got to see the team default are 50 bucks. Uh, rate cost is going to be 25 capacity 35 hours and now you can also add reminders here when you go to top right you can again click stop here and now it's going to stop when i go to home i can see that okay we got three minutes here this week non billable time and team expenses See, I see right here, labor costs. I can add time. I can close the task. I can add a color to this task or jump to project view and I can add estimate. So that's pretty much what you can do. And now what you can do also is to add when you're going to create the project. It's automatically non billable, but you can click on it and billing and you can change the hourly rate and let's go like 25 budget can be total project hours or total project fees. And again, you add it here. So this is pretty much it, how we do it. And you can have total project hours, total project can be like 50 hours safe. So right now we got three minutes of 50 hours and it's hourly rate of $25 per hour. So this is pretty much it, how you can use every hour. It's really easy, really simple. And yeah, if you have any questions, guys, ask me down in comments and have a great day and goodbye. See ya.